Congressman Gutierrez is well known for his passionate efforts representing the Latino community and pushing for immigration reform. Michelle Gallardo is here now to tell us how his decision will affect his constituents. Michelle. Karen, love him or hate him, Congressman Luis Gutierrez has served the constituents of the 4th Congressional District for 24 years, and in doing so has become not just one of the longest serving members of the Illinois Congressional Delegation, but probably the most recognizable Latino politician across the country. I'm announcing that I will not be seeking re-election. The news, when it broke yesterday, was a complete surprise, even to some of Congressman Luis Gutierrez's closest supporters. Outside of Chicago, everybody knows also Gutierrez, at least in the Latino community. For 24 years, I think as a congressman more active on service for immigrants. Not afraid to stand up to members of his own party or get himself arrested once or twice, Gutierrez built his career as a defender of immigrant rights. His nickname is El Gallito, the little fighting rooster. Fighting is something he's become known for, going back to his city council days and this famous confrontation with then-alderman Bertie Stone. He was uh, uh, making a point in the city council and he ended up standing up on the, one of the... On on, on the table, and uh, one of the aldermen uh, called him a pitch quick, and, uh, and, and uh, he didn't back down. But while everyone in Chicago's Latino community knows Gutierrez, not everyone likes him. At this Humboldt Park Community Center, the mostly Puerto Rican members speak of feeling ignored in favor of the city's larger Mexican-American community. When we really need from him, he's not there. He's not there. So it's time for him to leave. Polarizing or not, longtime political watchers agree. One of the biggest difficulties Gutierrez's successor will have is building his own personal brand. It will be a challenge. I mean, it took Luis uh, many years to reach that level, and I think it will be a challenge for whomever replaces him. From a policy standpoint, not much is expected to change when Congressman Gutierrez retires. Whoever is elected will all but certainly be Latino and continue to support the same issues. As for him, well, you already heard it. He said he's not going to be leaving public life or politics, simply moving on to a yet undefined role. We'll be waiting, of course, carefully watching mm. to see whatever that is. All exactly. Right. Michelle, thank you.